frosty. Don't things heat up. Okay, we're coming up on Vlad's old stomping grounds. Go in there and get Vlad his money. Send a message to these people that no one is safe from Crazy Vlad. Roll out before the cops shut you down. Hi guys and ladies, this is a quick video about Payday 2. Hopefully the game looks good and the idea is to see if the game is worth the purchase. So we'll go a little bit more in depth into the game itself and we'll definitely compare it to the very first Payday. We'll see if it stacks up to the um, Payday the heist. Because the first thing I want to say is that it does hold the charm of the very first game. Kind of silly when you think about it. Nowadays, game doesn't hold that um, hold that uh, standard anymore. However, there are some things that the first payday handles better. Perhaps the settings. In the game, maybe it's because the first game setting is more restrictive, and it's assigned to this prolonged all-out battle with the cops like that the it kind of pulls you in. So this is the thing, this is the um, casing mode, okay? This is um, what's happening in the beginning of any game. When you're in a casing mode, the idea is to look around for important stuff to see where the uh, cameras are, to see where the put the money in, where the vaults are, where you could potentially get a little bit more money out of the whole game. When you are ready, all you need to do is put on the mask and start blasting away. <clears throat> get, every, get everybody down on the floor and tie them up. We're gonna meet them later and guess what? The drill makes a comeback. Yes, everybody remembers the drill. So the funny thing is, um, you do need to actually get some people, get, get civilians uh, down on the ground and tied up because just in case that you fall down or whatever, they could potentially be very useful. So when you're planning your attack, the um, casing stage could be really important. It could be very crucial for the game. Whether you're um, going to win or you're going to lose, sometimes very dependent on the um, casing mode when you're about to launch your attack. Um, when you're when you're having to tie down civilians and whatnot, sometimes civilians does this thing. They run around in front of your uh, in front of your fire and they don't seem to care. The AI is a little bit silly from time to time and they will ignore you even at gunpoint. Even during a firefight, uh, firefight they have the tendency to stand in between you and the police. However, for what it's worth, I hope that in the game you can see that the uh, graphic it is good, it looks good, and the fight for life or the ability to fight as you went down is still intact. It's still in the game and the, um, the feel is good because um, as you fall down there is this kind of like a slow motion effect that you see before and um, you are able to try to revive your teammate. Yeah? However, the game penalizes you for every single time that you um, went down. so you, Instead of going down and being revived as easy as that, is that you will not revive with a full health. Okay? So, if you missed that before, you can see it right here now, where I'm being revived right now and I don't have a full health anymore. So, once I, um, there's a little circle on the, uh, heads over, the, uh, heads up display, right? The, um, little, um, white circle is kind of like a shield and the green um, circle thing is your helm. So um, you might want to watch that, you know, you don't want to get too much into um, the uh, attacking. So let's get this straight again. I'm just going to do a little quick um, video in the beginning of um, most games. This is what you're doing, this is a casing mode. This is when we have to attack the uh, jewelry store. The problem with the game is that it's somewhat short. It doesn't really have that 
prolonged, planned out attack that you kind of feel for the first game. On the second game, you're doing little things here and there. Like right now, right, we know what to do, we put on our mask, we get things going, and on the ground. this is what's on the usually going to happen. You're gonna tie a few civilians down in a position that you know it, yeah, you can take care of them, you already planned everything out. Um, however, on this one I did made a mistake, I uh, knocked over the uh, jewelry, tripped the alarm, but uh, it's... It's alright, we're doing good. However, this is the thing, I do have to remind everybody that um, doesn't know about it yet, is that in this game, your experience is basically your cash. The more cash you can grab and bring home, that's the experience that you have, because you purchase everything. You want a new gun, you gotta purchase it. You want a new attachment, you gotta purchase it. You feel like you need to upgrade one of your skills, you need to purchase it. And the thing is, you don't get the full amount, just like the first game, because, you know, you divide it up between the people and all of that. At least that's the logic, I'm guessing. However, on the second one, you have to be a little careful because um, on the second one, the enemy gets a little bullet spongy. And I'm talking about just even regular cops, alright? In the first one, the cops are easy to take down. As long as you, you know, put a couple of bullets in there, they'll go down quick. But on this one, even when you shoot them and they drop to the floor, Generally, they're still alive. So, as you can see right now, I'm using an AK. I shoot some cops in the head, even just, you know, um, SWAT team members. Sometimes they're still alive. So, the, the enemy gets a little bullet spongy for what it's worth. Um, I don't really like using the word, but that's what it is. Um, on the, um, the thing is as well though, uh, I almost forgot to mention about it, is that on the uh, second one, the enemy doesn't really try to outflank you as much as the first one does. In this one, you will see that they will try to outflank me from the back, but it's... It doesn't feel like the first one where they actually break into windows from, you know, the upper floor, they got, they're trying to get into the uh, front door, they're trying to get into the vents, they're trying to get into everything you could possibly think of. They will go out of their way just to get you, okay? So, it's a little different kind of um, feel. The game is a lot shorter, uh, it's a lot shorter than the first one. I'm not sure if that's gonna be a plus for a lot of people, but hey, you know what? You see the game right now, if you, um, if you like how it looks, if you like how it feels, if you like, you know, short games with your friends when you have the time and, like the, and stuff like that, you know, just pick up a quick game with your buddies. And um, have a little bit of fun, you know? This might just be the game for you. If you like, you know, if you like a quick game that is not too extensive, a game that you can just be bullet and trigger happy about it, then this could potentially be the game for you. Hopefully, hopefully that um, we have shown you everything that we could potentially show you about the game. Hopefully it's enough for you to decide that is it worth a purchase? And if it is, go buy it. You might actually be surprised at how fun this is. And you know what? If you actually turn out to like it, try out the first one as well, okay? And um, so I think I covered everything. Um, if you like it, hit the like button, subscribe, put um, your thoughts in the comment section, and um, yeah, I think that's about covers it up. So thank you very much for um, watching the uh, video, and um, hopefully this has helped you in one way or the other. So uh, yeah, this is it, and um, I'll see you guys on the uh, next video that I will do. 
So for all of you guys, have a good day and a, have a good life. Bye-bye.